This medium is about 10,000 years old at least that we know about. And it's seldom that you find something really new. Um, and I recently found, well actually about 20 years ago, I found out about this material. And it's what's called a substrate. These are used in the electronics industry and they screen print uh, circuitry diagrams on here and then hook them into computers. And it's a, an amazing material. It's like a very, very super thin porcelain sheet. and <coughs> really strong, it doesn't break, you would think a piece of porcelain that thin would, would just smatter. And I found that it's a really beautiful working material to draw on. It's like a, an extension of paper and canvas and all the other drawing tools that we um, can work with. Other things about it is it's translucent. If you, if you don't put a very dense coating of glaze on it, um, it will be uh, translucent. It means you can put light behind it and get interesting qualities that way. Um, the nice thing also is if you are hesitant about drawing, you can draw with an ordinary graphite pencil on here. So I'm just going to get my basic lines in here that I want to. The thing about graphite is it burns away in the firing, so uh, you don't have to worry about it staying there or the, the uh, lines will all go away. So you can make as many lines as you want. And in the firing process, they just burn out. Um, there's, you know, almost all the uh, um, drawing tools that one has as a regular uh, draftsman, drawing artist, such as Conte, pencils, and so on. Ordinary pencils don't work, but there are underglazed pencils that will do really beautiful jobs. So I'm just going to quickly um, do some work on this sheet here and get some interesting things going. So this one doesn't burn away. This one stays where I put it. This is the uh, totem on the side of the garden, that side. And I'm just going to get some interest into this tree here. Um, I really like the color that this becomes. It, it, everything changes in the kiln. Um, so when this one, I do this with this one and do what we call scumbling and just softens down the thing. This goes to a sort of greeny gray color. And if I want to um, get some more detail in, then I can redraw a little bit um, in here and grasses coming up at the bottom of the tree. The beautiful thing also is you can keep firing these things. You can fire it for so much and then if you don't like what you did or it hasn't quite got to where you want it to get, then you can actually add another layer, put it in the, in the kiln again and um, get uh, uh, very interesting drawings. So it's, it's, I started off life as a painter and uh, but most of my life I've been working in clay and uh, I always hankered after painting. So I did a lot of research on glazes and different uh, methods of doing things. And um, it's just uh, wonderful to come to this material that gives me so much freedom to work with. And this is an underglazed pen. So it, it's, you know, like you trail on here. And then I'll do a little bit more because it has a different quality to the other materials that are in there. So do I like what I've done? Who knows? Let's uh, just um, call it a day at this point and then look at another way of doing things. And um, so here's basically what we've got. This sanguine uh, Conte, which is a, basically made out of uh, ceramic material, um, uh, it's a clay shale that's been ground down very fine and it produces a really beautiful soft color. There's an idea of the sort of colors that we're going to get out of these things here. This one's been fired, this one's yet to go. But uh, we can put this into the kiln, fire it, and if we like it, then we can uh, leave it at that. Or I can add, you know, many times, I can fire it many times more. So uh, let's work again. I'll just draw a rough concept of, of where we're going with this. That's quite unlike most other 
ways of doing things in ceramics. It's Jeff definitely a painters and uh, graphic artist type uh, material to work with. So I'm just getting this background in there a little bit. And then I'm just going to draw with the underglazed pen right the way through here. I think we'll have a little bit more of this one. So I'm going to do almost all of the drawing with the underglazed pen. So it's quite a different sort of uh, quality what, to what we have there. First, uh, I'll start on this side because I'm right-handed and I'm going to be moving across this way. So it's easier to uh, not cross things because you might just um, make a mess of what you're doing. Now I'm going to do um, some brushwork just to uh, get some more interesting things going. branded for life with my fingernails. So I think I'll stop there with this one. In order to get a glazed surface on here, the previous ones were just doing underglazed pencils and various things there. But this, this one, I want to get a glazed background. And as I said earlier, you can't, with this material, which is, is non-porous, uh, you can't put a, a glaze on very easily because it just doesn't dry. And so it uh, makes it really difficult to work with. And I had the idea, well, what if you heated it? So I found, uh, went to my local uh, thrifty uh, Goodwill store and uh, uh, found some little um, uh, kitchen warming trays and uh, for, you know, secondhand ones, and they cost about five bucks each. And they work perfectly because it heats the substrate up so that when I put the, color, the uh, wash of glaze over the top of it, um, it dries it out, not instantly, but fairly quickly, that uh, then you can carry on working. You, what I usually do is, is um, work with a lamb's wool roller, and just regular type uh, thing that you find in an ordinary paint store. And then I just roll the surface. This happens to be turquoise background that I'm putting on here. It's a turquoise glaze. And if that was a little bit warmer than it actually is, it would dry almost instantly. So there is sometimes a waiting lapse. But you can also take a blowtorch and uh, dry it off. Um, uh, quickly so that you can get the next layer on. I find in, in general three layers of this sort of thickness of, uh, of glaze will give me a really good working surface then I can work with the brush on top of that and play uh, in, in different ways. But there's so many different ways to uh, being able to work on surfaces and um, uh, it's just a matter of finding the ones that work for you, and I, I, I love them all, um, so I'm, I'm playing all the time. It's great to come to the age of uh, over seven zero and just be able to play. I've worked on, on them at uh, cone 10 in oxidation, cone 10 in reduction, um, electric fired in, uh, in cone 8, cone 10, cone 010. Everything has a different sort of result, so you can play forever and ever. In finding this um, material, which is now getting a trade name called uh, porcelain canvas, uh, it just was wonderful because it opens up all the opportunities for anybody who's got graphic skills, who's good at drawing, good at painting. Um, you can use those skills really well with this material doing things that you can't do on regular tiles and so on. And it's, um, it, I haven't found any uh, thing that it won't do yet. And I've been working with it for about the last year. So I'm just going to do sort of almost a sumi 
type, very spare, very simple drawing. So basically this will come out being a turquoise background and then black drawing on top of it. So since this glaze is turquoise in the background, uh, I can take a, a sort of pointed tool, it can be a pencil, just any other sort of pointed tools, and just remove some of the glaze so that where I do this, let's say these are flowers back here, um, where you see right now a pencil line, you should see a, a white line through the turquoise glaze because I'm just knocking off some of the glaze and uh, create a very simple almost a scrofito-like um, result. So the kiln's fired and cooled now, and here's the, the top one. This one I'm going to do some more work on. So uh, you remember we had uh, cut out the white lines and did some brushwork. I'll then put some other colors on and refire it. I have that option to, uh, to play quite a bit. This one I really like just the way it is. Um, it's nice and simple, nice graphic markings. Uh, I'm sure the police will get me because of all these fingerprints in here, but uh, that's okay. Um, it's, it's definitely a me thing. And there's another one which is, uh, I notice is very soft, gentle colors. And this is where I use the Conte in the background and the black uh, underglaze pencil in here and scumbled it with my thumb and then did, did uh, some uh, underglaze pencil work and underglaze pen work on top of that. So that's the result there. It doesn't change that much from uh, when you're doing it, but now it's permanent. I can put this in the rain. I can put it anywhere. It's waterproof. Nobody's going to be able to move any color off of here. It's very, uh, fi it's totally fired into that surface.